Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-January general love reading. Now keep in mind, because these are general readings, they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Scorpio, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Fool of Me. Isn't that... Yeah, Fool of Me by Michelle. I can't pronounce her last name, so I won't even try it. But you guys know, as usual, I leave all the songs and links in the description box below. So click the link, follow on the reading if you so choose to, if you would like to hear that song. That song is on a soundtrack to Love and Basketball. And in case you've never watched that movie, this may be a message for you to watch that movie. This may, may resonate with your love life somehow. Also, some of you all may have played basketball or that could be your favorite sport. Also, or you may be getting ready to go to a basketball game in the near future. Also, in that story, right, these two grew up together. Like, when they first met each other, they despised each other. They hated each other. They had this love-hate relationship. But as they grew up, they fell in love. They started dating. Then they had this separation, a breakup. One person was getting ready to get married. And the other person, you know, it was a whole big to-do, okay? And they were very much karmic soulmates or twin flames, possibly, because they did have a separation, but they end up coming back together. So you could be dealing with that type of situation. But also in a song, You Made a Fool of Me, just as clear as the song title goes, it's like somebody felt like I would have gave you the star and the moon and everything else in the galaxy if I could have, and you really just shitted on me. And I'm going to tell you, you guys know I always show you the cards once I part them and separate them. But something just guided me to look at the bottom of the deck and look at what you guys got. I'm going to tell you right now, in the door, if this person did you dirty, they are going to regret it because you got a glow up out of this world headed your way, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck. Now, you guys know, major arcanas, that's definite energy. That's the universe stepping in to align you on your path or some type of transition, powerful transitions. And keep in mind, we are currently in Venus retrograde, which doesn't end to January 29th. And then Mercury retrograde starts um, January 13th. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the cosmos right now. And I feel like it's going to go in your favor in a major way. Your first card is a star card, wish fulfillment and healing, Aquarius energy here. Then you have the emperor, Aries energy, um, some type of destiny, fated connection with someone. And I said this when I was talking about the movie. Whenever you see the emperor, the emperor, the empress is never too far behind, vice versa, same sex. However it applies, this is a divine connection with someone, Okay. And then right behind that, you have the damn Wheel of Fortune. So we are, you're already at three major arcanas. Whenever you get so many major arcanas, you got a big shift happening for you, okay? This is going to be a major year for Scorpios, not just this month, year, okay? These are major arcanas, which means this stuff has been culminating and working behind the scenes for a while now, okay? Right behind that, you got the damn world card. So some of you guys are turning your back on past situations that were not working in your favor, and you're going towards something exemplary, Okay? And then you have the damn sun card. I bullshit you not. I didn't place these cards like this. I'm not joking with you. And I shuffle very well. And you guys are going to see me do that yet again before I even get your cards, okay? Sun card. You got Leo energy here. And the sun card, whenever the sun comes up with brand new day stars, it's the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. And then you have three of pentacles, somebody wanting to work and build with you. Possibly an earth sign. Because in your pre-shuffle, you had strong earthy energy um, towards Virgo Capricorn. Just want you guys to see this. One, two three, four, five. You have five major arcanas back to back. I bullshit you now. I do not put these cards like this. Some of y'all may have, um, you could be a life path number five. Over the last five years, you could have been in a very tumultuous, toxic relationship or something that was just very challenging. But it looks like with this being the very last major arcana and it's the most positive, it looks like either A, you are going through a twin flame cycle with somebody and this has been healed and now this person is coming in and they're able to be a long-term partner or consort or you've been through many cycles with some karmic person and it's healing and you're getting ready to come in to a connection with someone that you're going to be with long term this is faded and destined with the will of fortune and then with the world card you and this person may be at a physical distance from each other or headed each other's way and then it seems like this is going to be a very positive connection because it's it's allowing you two to establish something and grow together something that's going to be concrete and long term because pentacles hold value so this is a very positive and powerful reading. I can feel it already. It, I'm going to tell you right now, if this person, because there's somebody new coming in, okay? If this person 
screws you over, which I'm getting that very strongly. Ooh, they're going to regret it because you guys are getting ready to be like, literally like the star in the sky, the center of attention. A lot of y'all are getting ready to have a major glow up. Like your body could be transforming. You see how she's lean and toned and she's in shape and she's so comfortable that she's nude. Um, They're just going to get ready to see a new version of you. That's going to be amazing is what I'm getting. I'm also seeing something. I've never seen this before. And you guys see, I use this deck often. You see how you got a star right there? Somebody could be going snorkeling because I'm just seeing starfish like somebody picking up a starfish. Somebody could be going on vacation soon. Possibly, like I said, something with water. Even though this is Aquarius, there's something with water because you see she's sitting in water. Okay. So let's change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this is a major transformation for a lot of you all. And there are absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, yeah, some new offers coming in. You have a page of pentacles. Again, you just had the three of pentacles after all of those major arcanas. You could definitely be coming into contact with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody new coming in, wanting something stable. They may possibly be a little bit younger than you, or they look younger than their age. First, middle, last initial could be C M W H K. I'm also seeing L and I, first, middle, last initial. They want to offer you something stable and secure. They have a very stable and secure um, place of employment or a very, um, very comfortable financially because you see how well-dressed and well-groomed he is. This person doesn't need or lack for anything, okay? So that's what I'm getting also. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go through the deck, and we are going to get your major arcana, which is the, the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, it seemed like it took a long time for this to come in, but it's finally here. You got a lot of pinnacle stuff here, okay? Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot, but once he comes in, he comes in bearing a gift of long-term stability, okay? That's part of the deck, so we can shuffle. A lot of you all may have felt like you were never going to have this um, happily ever after, but if you look at it, he's facing her. Also, someone could still have it, yeah... Remember the song, You Made a Fool of Me. It's like somebody is overthinking about how there was a third party, how they've been cheated on. There was always some type of sneaky link situation with their person. Yep, sneaky link with somebody's person, okay? Because I want to show you. You got the two, um, the Ten of Cups. And yeah, the Ten of Cups is like a happily ever after card. And it could be implying some type of same sex. But if you're not in the same sex situation, male or female, it looks like this. you were always in relationships where you were... An option or one of many you or your person or someone in a situation first middle last initial could be c m n y h k u o n l okay that's what i'm getting also so let's go ahead and go through the deck yep five pentacles lack loss abandonment being left out of hope someone didn't value you because there's a lack of value here with the five of pentacles but, woo, but you got major victory coming in for you. I told you. Look at this. So somebody didn't value you in the past because they were making you one of many options. But then you have the Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, Knowledge, Wisdom, Victory. You got an Ace of Swords, an Ace of Cups, brand new love coming in. And then right behind it, the, the Magician, Gemini, and also Virgo Energy. Somebody has manifested brand new love that was stable and secure and someone who's going to be honest because that's definitely honesty here. So... Yeah, some of you all are manifesting something amazing, 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 amazing. So again, the death card and the card that comes before, and this is going to happen soon for a lot of you all because I didn't even get halfway through the deck before y'all got your card. So right in front of you, yep, a lot of you guys were dealing with liars, cheaters, manipulators, sneaks, and connivers because you got the seven of swords, and that is his badge of honor to be a liar and a manipulator. Then you got this fox right here, slick as a fox. This person was intentionally doing this, okay? Um, and remember the song I heard was Fool of Me. And that's what she says in the song. She said, you made a fool of me. Tell me why. So this person knew what they were doing. Look at his face. This person intentionally acted like this. And then right behind it, you got the, <laughs> again, the tower. So there was definitely something that ended. And then you have the will of fortune yet again. So it's like you're walking away from this. You're putting an ending to dismissive and negative and sneaky behavior. And then you're going to something that's more fortunate and destined. And I told you before, if this person did you dirty, first of all, you had the emperor in the beginning. Now you have the empress. You see how she wants to sneak out and show you all? And she didn't even sneak. She was just hanging out like, hey. So this is a divine counterpart. You're kicking someone from the past to the curb. 
because they were not aligned with you. This was definitely some karmic energy because the tower is definitely something that's karmically wrapping up or some type of situation that needed to come to an end, but it was being dragged. You know, it was like some type of dragon ass. And so the universe shook the shit up. Could be involved with a Scorpio, also Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Then also with the Empress, Taurus, Libra, and Aries as well. Okay. So we're going to get a clarifier for the Seven of Swords as well as the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, you're leaving something unfortunate to something more fortunate and more destined and aligned with you. So let's see what you have for your clarifiers. Yes, you are coming into contact with a love interest. Now, also, because this is Gemini energy and you do have Gemini Libra Aquarius here, you could be separating from a Gemini. Did you see the distance between them? But what I'm getting overall, because this was the very last card, you're coming into connection with someone who the universe is orchestrating for the two of you all to be coming together. But the space between them signifies that you may not have met this person yet, but it's, it's happening. Some of y'all, you need to kick someone to the curb first or you're getting, you've already did it, possibly in Scorpio season. And then for some of you all, you could be doing this in Aries season, which is coming up in March, April. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> you guys, are you watching me? I'm just part of this random. Look at all this major arcana. This is going to be major cycles for a lot of you all. You got a new love coming in. You got the lovers and then a chariot. Cancerian energy. Again, as you leave something with this tower, okay? This is a castle, a tower right here. And then you have a castle right here. You see how this chariot is moving away from this castle, this tower. So as you leave a situation, a new love is coming in for you all. And it's, it's predestined. This is predestined. This is a part of your karmic uh, contract. Very powerful. This is going to be a major transformative year for you all. There could be some conflict here with the Five of Wands. Um, this person could try, possibly look at Empress again. It's like the Empress doesn't have time to entertain stuff that's conflict, conflictual, okay? Because you have the Five of Wands in reverse. And then you have the queen, the Empress right here and her back is facing it. Again, I'm going to say there was possible third party shit going on. You do have three right here and this is the third, you know, card number three. <clears throat> Yeah, you're turning your back to situations that are full of chaos, drama, conflict, secrecy, sneakiness. Yeah. No longer being single. Because the Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, single man card. And then I say you could have been dealing with something in the past where they kept putting you in third party situations because you have three Pentacles behind her back. And again, right, the Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, single man. In reverse, somebody may not be single for long. Yep. And I feel like a lot of you are still doing a little bit of healing because you got the King of Cups in reverse. Kings and Queens in reverse are negative because these people are not sitting on their throne. They have been dethroned. They have lost their title. Um, and definitely with the King of Cups, because Cups is the emotions and feelings, somebody may still be in their feelings about, yep, 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 yep. Somebody could still be in their emotions about some deception that happened to them because I'm hearing again the hook of the song where she says, you made a fool of me. Tell me why. Like somebody still wants answers. I'm going to tell you, I know it's not easy, but I, I feel like it's not going to even matter. Because you have something amazing coming in. Okay, so let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Swords. Okay, that flipped out immediately. <laughs> so you have the King of Cups in reverse, and then the King of Swords in reverse. That's exactly who this is. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I always tell you guys, sort of yes, sort of down, no. With the King of Swords in reverse, this is someone who could not be truthful if you pay them to, okay? And that, especially when it comes to communication, again, a King and Queen in reverse, this is someone who has a position of hierarchy and power, and they were taking their authority and their power and their position in people's lives. They were taking advantage of it in reverse because this is a shady King or Queen, okay? With that sword down, this person just lied, 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 and that's exactly what the Seven of Swords is. And so for a lot of you all, you may still be wanting to know how they could do you this way, but it's like, it just wasn't destined for them to be in your life. I want you to really look at that hand right there. It literally looks like it's doing a thumbs down. Like, this person wasn't your future anyway. They just weren't it. Could be involved with a fire sign because I did say he had Aries energy here with this, Aries and Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. You seen it flip up? Oh my God, I love it. You seen that flip up, right? Yeah, no longer dealing with shit that is lackful. Or lacking in nature. Absolutely. Ooh, I love it. You guys have an amazing reading. Okay. So you have the Wheel of Fortune and then the Justice card. Karmic Justice is coming to balance the scales. 
And the sword is up, sword of yes, sword down. No, again, some of you all are getting ready to meet someone that you are going to be with long term because the justice card can also talk about the justice of the peace, matrimony, contracts, long term commitments. And when I first said that the time was 1444, so some of you all are definitely dealing with a twin flame union or someone that you're destined to be with long term. 444, those are angel numbers. So this is the universe is stepping in and aligning something that is a hundred percent destined. I keep hearing destined, predestined, destined, destined. So it's like a cycle has end, a heavy cycle has end, and then it's ushering in some brand new stuff because you've paid some karmic dues, and also somebody is going to pay some karmic dues. Some if someone has wronged you, they're gonna pay some karmic dues for sure. But this is amazing energy for you all. It looks like you definitely have some positive abundance coming in. And I, I feel like there's going to be marriage contracts. I feel like there's going to be engagements. I feel like it's going to be coming in quickly. Also be mindful. I'm hearing something about your root chakra. Your root chakra is the red, the red orb. Okay. The red spear looking energy. Um, and that talks about your stability, you know, you're feeling safe. Yeah, because I'm hearing now it's safe for you to love. After going through this, it could be a little challenging. You can have some fearful energy because you kept dealing with people who are lying and manipulative. One person specific. But they're telling you that it's safe for you to move forward. It's safe for you to love and trust love again. Because something amazing is coming in and you don't want to push that away. Okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.